Up next on the Tesla Plaid channel. Back to the Tesla Plaid channel. We're on our way out to Bradenton Motorsports Park, quarter mile drag racing tonight. We had our first 20 runs out at Showtime last night, but that's eighth mile and not everyone is into eighth mile. I'll tell you, I do prefer it. I don't need to go 150 every single time I race the car, especially when I'm racing it 500 times a year. So anyway, we'll uh, do quarter mile tonight and uh, next Wednesday we'll do eighth mile again and alternate between the two tracks. We left the charger just now with 96%. It says we'll have 91% when we get to Bradenton. And, and looking forward to a great night of racing. Let's see what this car does on the quarter mile. Welcome back to the Tesla Plaid channel. We are at Plaid tonight. We're out at Bradenton Motorsports Park. It's July 29th, 2021. This car is only a day old, but it's already got 20 passes out of showtime last night. And now we're out of Bradenton quarter mile. We're gonna try to find the fastest cars we can find out here. We got a modified red eye charger on a tire. He's hoping to run nines tonight. Maybe not a low nine, but. We're taking our safety up a notch here. You can see heavy jacket, full neck. We're gonna go plaid mode for this pass here. Our first ever quarter mile pass in the plaid. All right, let's see what we can do. Like red lit, really? fifties like that that's uh serious i'm surprised i read that but i guess i learned that lesson last night as well this car reacts a little faster than the raven did let's see if i get any trouble for running that pass thank you So that was straight plaid. We didn't go uh, drag strip mode. We didn't do launch control. I red lit by two hundredths of a second. Holy crap. <laughs> I might be in some trouble here. I only ran a 9.4, a 9.45, but unfortunately I ran 151.9 miles an hour. Pretty much 152. I wasn't expecting that. That's uh, like I say, not even drag strip mode, not even launch mode. And I'm cutting 152 essentially here. Crap. That's probably going to be a problem with the uh, people that run this track. So um, let's see what happens. 
I was hoping that pass would be 149.9. I'm gonna lift next time. I mean, that was just a baseline pass to see what the car would do in this mode and what it would feel like at that speed. But, you know, I did 28th mile passes last night. Let's see what happens. I didn't expect to uh, exceed 150. I didn't warm up the battery, I didn't go to drag strip mode even, and I didn't do launch control. Right. All I did was just simple plaid mode. Oh, 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 where is it? How's it going? How's it going, buddy? I'm going to tell you one time. Okay. One more time, yeah. No 150 is, uh, or is it the uh, ET? I, I, know what, I, I know what ET you went. No, 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 I mean, where do you want me to cut it off? 9.99 and is there a mile an hour? Okay, thank you. What uh? Thank you. What uh? Cool, the camera was still running. <laughs> what it? What did it run? Let off to make a 999. Where do you even let off? You probably have to let off at the eighth. Eighth mile? Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're at, what was your speed at one at the eighth? One. Yeah. One, yeah. One, you gotta let off the eighth mile. Yeah. You'll yeah. have to do like a 10 1 if you let off. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. That's crazy. That's a bummer. It's only a matter of time. I knew it. <laughs> well, I'll do the shoe. Can't, yeah, can right. you, can you, uh, is there another mode that you can dumb it down, kind of like how I have two keys on the red eye? Can you put it in a different mode? Oh man, GTR. <laughs> first mentioned the speed. He's like, I know what they run. Was that over the loudspeaker? Because I think, uh... No, because it was NT. They didn't um, it. But they're probably talking. Lou, Lou thought that he heard something like a warning over the loudspeaker today oh. already. Oh. Oh. I didn't run NT. The... What's that? Did they not put my... Uh, it was, yeah, it was NT. Probably was, the other car. The, other the car Camaro one. was NT. Oh, there was, <laughs> yeah. I forgot there was a car in the other lane. Yeah. <laughs> I was paying so close attention to everything else. Yeah, the eighth mile is probably a good let off. Jeez. So on that first pass, we used 3% of the battery, went from 91 down to 88. And we ran a 9.45 and 151.95, almost 152. And the guy who runs the track here, told us that we cannot make any more passes under 10 seconds until we have a cage and a parachute on this car. A uh, parachute if we go over 150 that is, and the cage for going under 10 seconds. So we're going to uh, treat it like it's an eighth mile track for the rest of the night and we'll just blast to the eighth, see what we can do for 60 foot, mile an hour, ET and everything on the eighth and then we'll get on the brakes so that we don't uh, wind up running a 9.9 by accident, which could easily happen even coasting through. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna run eighth mile. We're in drag strip mode.
off at around 120 miles an hour. Okay, let's go uh, drag strip mode. Launch control. Let's see how long it holds it for. kicking us out. I don't want to be on anybody's bad side here. That car is a solid 60 foot, good eighth mile. Thank you. Well, what the hell? Okay, I applied the brakes firmly at 120 miles an hour. Firmly. I didn't roll through. Now, I don't know exactly where the eighth mile marker is, but I ran 106 miles an hour. I ran a 987, apparently. So, all right, I'm gonna just uh, proactively talk to the guy about it. I mean, My intentions were good there. Let's see what happens. All right, well, I had a good conversation with the guy who runs the track here, and he said he could tell that I was trying, and he saw my brakes come on at half track, and he was also surprised that it's still trapped under 10 seconds with as long as I was riding the brakes half the track and trapped at only 106 miles an hour. But dang, we were probably on our way to a 9.2 second run on that pass, just based on everything else. Let's look at the numbers. We can compare it to last night. Oh wow, I ran a 602 eighth mile faster than any of my passes last night. 602 at 118.76. I'm surprised that mile an hour is not a little higher. But that is the fastest eighth mile ET this car has made. And uh, who knows what it would have done in the quarter. Not a great reaction time, 0.185 but I was in launch mode and we know that thing is a little bit different. But it beats red lighting. All right, I'm running my buddy here in the uh, Red Eye Challenger, Mike. And uh, he's going for a nine tonight and I'm going for a 10. <laughs> he's gonna kick me out if I run more nines. But um, let's see what we can do here. Go drag strip mode. Whoa, come on, drag strip. Oh, shit. Go drag strip mode. Whoa, come on, drag strip. Oh, shoot. I didn't have any time to do it. 
if it's tough to get launch mode staged up on a regular tree, how much tougher on a pro tree? All right, there's no way that could be under a 10, right? I got on those brakes hard before that finish line, and I obviously finished behind him. Oh, well, my reaction was horrible. Thank you. But maybe in my effort to chase him. Oh, there we go. So my eighth mile time, 6.3 and 119, horrible 0.86 reaction. And I ran a 10.22 at 99.99. <laughs> His ET might have been lower than that, but even though he doesn't have a roll cage, he's not uh, arm wrestling with the track officials like I am because they're not worried about that car hitting 150 the way they're worried about this car doing another 150 mile an hour pass, so. All right, we're not going to try drag strip mode this time. I'm going to go for a tree and then I'm going to get out of it as I did before. Here we go. Now. trapped under 100 again and uh, we finished pretty close I gave it to him obviously because if I beat him I break out and it's not just breaking out and losing a race it's getting kicked off the track oh, shoot to my camera stop running Frick. thank you I think my GoPro stopped in that race and that would have been epic the way that finish went, but hopefully the dash cam and the other cam caught it. So I ran a 10.08. <laughs> All right, they told me to run 10.0 and higher. There we go, I guess we're bracket racing now. My eighth mile, I ran a 6.22 at 119. And yeah, I had the major gap on the Challenger. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think the camera got it, but we don't have a rear dash cam in this car yet. I gotta wire it up soon. Fun race, I would have much rather been going all out, but we we're all out through the eighth mile anyway. He wanted a 10 0, he got a 10 0. He got a 10 0 bracket car. <laughs> You see how hard I was on the brakes? I was just going to say, you slammed the brakes really hard. That is not the way to bracket, obviously. <laughs> the way to bracket is to just stay that fender ahead, which yeah. maybe is the way I should race them next time. But I was trying for my best eighth mile, yeah. but by the time I had 120 miles an hour, I was a bus length ahead of him. And then I eased off, and when I realized I was going to bust out of 10-0, I had to uh, get hard in the brakes there. And I let him go by me because he's running a 10-0, right? Yeah like a 10 0 and if I cross the finish line first, I bust out. Not bust out of a bracket race, bust out of the frickin' drag strip. They'll kick me out. <laughs> yeah, that was a close one. Fun, fun. I'll do some more eighths. This is still fun. Looks like we got a Subaru here next to us. Okay. I just want to see what, uh. My next eighth mile time is, again, with launch mode, so. Here we go. 
front end lowering and drag strip mode now there. I think we're at 80 miles an hour at the finish line. Now that I'm looking for that eighth mile cone, I know where to get off of it. Thank you. All right, we're going to try something new this time. We're going to run it like an actual race, like a bracket race. We're going to try to win. He's running 10 O's, he might get into the nines. My goal is to beat him by a fender. And because he's running right at that 10 O area, I won't be, uh, you know, running a 9 8 or something. So as long as we leave together and I'm not catching up to him, Going to be going for my eighth mile time. Those last two runs, I was going for the best eighth mile because I was trying to cut a 599. I cut a 602 and a 603, which were awesome, but I couldn't be going for that and also racing the guy next to me at the same time. So let's uh, see if we can just stay out on him by a fender. Let's see if we can make this work. We haven't tried this before. enough power that even, even if he came on with like a surge at the top end I still had more than enough power to give it a little more and stay ahead of it every time so that was fun I am probably ran a 9 something but hopefully nothing under a 9.9 nine. thank you well, wait, did I give you two or just one? Just one. Oh, okay, just okay here is the important thing well look at that I'm not going to get any trouble for running this time because I ran a 10.12 at 136.9. The modified red eye ran a 10.06 at 132.76. And I crossed the finish line 0 .003 ahead of him, three thousandths of a second, uh, just as I intended to. I was trying to cross the tiniest bit ahead of him, and there it is. Right was first by 0 .003. Again, it depends on reactions, because if we're... Um, if we didn't leave together, then that difference in reaction, 0.1, 0 0.2, kind of has to be added in and could be the difference in the ET. So if I'm chasing to catch up to him, then I'm going to be running a 9, 8, 9, 7, and that's going to get me into some trouble. So anyway, it makes for an interesting challenge, much like bracket racing. Not quite. I mean, we didn't have a set index, a set time to run against, but fun nonetheless. 10 0, 10 1, where are we at? 10 0. 10 0. Yeah. I ran a uh, 10 1 actually 
which is uh, perfect because I was trying not to bust yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's not an index I'm trying not to bust out of, it's the track I'm trying right, to bust exactly, out of. Right, exactly, yeah. So, uh, what was your mile an hour? Uh, 132. Okay. So you probably picked up, uh, right as I was coming around the corner, I realized, you know, I think I'm going to play this a little bit different and play it like a bracket race, you know what right. I mean? All right, after six races, we're leaving the drag strip with 77%. And it was a learning experience. I mean, this is the first time taking this car out to the quarter mile track. I know a lot of you guys have seen other plaids on other tracks, other sets of rules and private track day rentals and all kinds of different circumstances. But I've got to deal with the uh, hand that I've been dealt here. And that's that this track is not gonna let me run flat out in this car until I've got a cage. And then if I choose to go over 150, I'm gonna need a shoot as well. You know, I've been open to doing the shoot from the beginning. The cage I was a little more reluctant on, but you know, I'll start shopping them. I think it's inevitable at this point that I'm gonna to have to cage this thing. Maybe it'll only be like a simple four point cage, but I'll talk to shops, I'll see what my options are. But until I do that, I'm gonna race some of these 10 cars, the Red Eye Charger, the Red Eye Challenger that I raced tonight, both of those, the Dodge Demon that's also been running 10 my buddy Klaus and his orange one. And I'm gonna run it like a bracket race. I'm gonna try to cut the best light that I can and stay a fender ahead. And uh, I mean, just like that last race there, I mean, that was my first time ever trying to do a bracket style approach but I had the power to stay ahead of that red eye charger, modified red eye charger at that. And he ran a 10 0, and I beat him by 0.003, three thousandths of a second, even though my ET was a 10.1, which is even better because if my reaction had been slower than his, then I would have needed a 990 to cross the finish line first. And uh, the track doesn't want me to run 990s. So with a good reaction, I can run a slower ET, still cross the finish line first, win the race. Obviously, I've got the power to do a lot more. We all know that. But, um, you know, it's a challenge to stay a fender ahead of these cars, especially when they have all that top end power. But it worked out really well the first time I tried it. Hope it wasn't just beginner's luck, but it helps to have a precision instrument like this Tesla and the power that it's got in reserve. Because when you got that much reserve power, even when a powerful car like that, Red Eye, is in the power band and he's surging at the top of each gear, I can still find more power here in the Tesla and stay ahead of it. So, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to all the racing ahead in this car, whether it's bracket style at 10 or whether it's all out, low nines with the cage. And when we go out to the 8th mile track, we've got no restrictions. So, my short-term goal is to run a 599 or better. And I think the tires and wheels that I've got mounted will do that for me. So, this coming Wednesday, it'll be Showtime Drag Strip 8th mile with the race tires on, on the lightweight wheels. And see if we can cut a 599 or better. Until then, thanks for joining us here on the Tesla Plaid channel. Well, what happened? Like, uh, right now, I'm having a transmission changing on me. So, literally, okay. it's changing to a, a softer shift point. So, yeah. my third to fourth is where I'll, it's, it's okay. giving me that literally. Yeah. Yeah. So, I remember you said you ran a 6'4 at 107 on the eighth mile. Yeah, 6'4, yeah. six, same, same exact run. Yeah, and that's yep. what I did as well. I ran a 6'4, 10800. So, um, right around what you were at. And then but you I let was, out, right? And then you let out well, at the Well, I was kind of feathering it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you were pulling away, and I kind of saw you well, kind of back power, up a little bit. Yeah, the power was there, yeah. and it was enough that I could just kind of, you know, right. like a bracket. Yeah. So, hey, no, can I take a good. photo? photo no, absolutely. Look? Thanks, Doug. Yeah.